Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Patty Hegwood, and I am here today at Angel's Rest. As you can hear, all the beautiful chimes are playing, and it's a nice wintry evening, but thank goodness we have some sunshine as we come to you today to celebrate the lives of those who have touched our lives. And as with, well, as with every monthly blessing, I like to focus on one particular subject. And today I would like to focus on the window. As pet parents, it's many times within our ability to give the gift of relieving suffering. Many times we face the crossroads as to whether that time is, is too soon or we worry if that time may be too late. And the reason I, I offer up this subject is, is to offer a little bit of a respite from the inner turmoil we face from making such a monumental decision. It's no doubt that we go through great lengths to save our animals' lives. We want to we wanna gather up as much extra time as we possibly can and get whatever we can get. And no matter how much extra time we get, in many cases, we're called upon yet to make that decision. Now, we try so hard to gauge their quality of life according to their standards and ask ourselves if we're doing too much or if we're doing too little. And when I talk about their standards, you always know what's important to them. Is that that afternoon walk? Is it snuggling with you, getting up on the sofa and watching evening TV shows? You know, it's that snack late in the evening, right before you all go to bed. And I've also asked the question, what do you think? I've asked this of my little ones many times. What do you think? Sometimes you receive a knowing glance. Sometimes they go way out of their way to offer up, condol <laughs> offer up their condolences to you in trying to rally. But no matter the situation, let us acknowledge for one another that this still remains a difficult time. A dear friend of mine once uh, referred to this as the window. And it's to help relieve that guilt and that questioning of ourselves that ensues after we say bye for now to our loved one. Did I say goodbye too soon? Did we wait too late? And the answer is, you were in the window. That window where you made a choice out of your love for them. Now, truth be told, our little ones know we are doing our best. And quite frankly, I don't think they're afraid of what's potentially next. Being incredibly, incredibly intuitive creatures, they for sure can sense our sadness and perhaps a, a few more trips to the vet than they're used to. But they live in the present. And they get to do all the things that contribute to their quality of life. They know that we are acting upon our love for them. And that, in my opinion, is what's most important. So here's a list of things that I would like for you to remember when all is said and done. That we all operate from the best knowledge we have at the time. We all make the best decisions with what we think is right for them. We all must remember that we operate within the window, whether we believe it to be too early or too late, and that we must be gentle with ourselves through this time. Our actions are based on love. Love is love. Loss is loss. And all acts of love come from a solid place within the heart. Hello, everybody. My name is Josh, and I'm the manager here at Angel's Rest. 
And uh, this part of the program is we reflect on some of the animals and some of the friends that we've lost along the way here for January of 2024. In the sanctuary in Dogtown, we lost Bosco, Chelsea, Natasha and her puppies, Chaos, Tunic, and Snookum's puppies. In Cat World, we lost Malik, Mousy, Pop Tart, Earl, Linda, Adam, and Esther. In the Bunny House, we lost Dottie, Siggy, and Prince. And in Pear Garden, we lost Rogue. For tributes that had came in, were sent for Stanley, Pudge Nelson, and River. Now we do have a story today that someone had sent in to us. It's for my baby Cruz. Cruz, my angel, I miss you more than words can express. To have been your mama, I was truly blessed. A piece of my heart went with you the day you passed away. I held you in my arms and said, Mama is here, it's gonna be okay. Till the day we reunite, I'll wait for you in my dreams every night. Now at this moment, I'd like to offer a moment of silence for all our loved ones that we've lost along the way.
Thank you all for joining us this evening for our January Angel's Rest Blessing. I would like to close out our ceremony today with a poem by Harry Scott Holland called Death is Nothing at All. Death is nothing at all. It does not count. I have only slipped away into the next room. Nothing has happened. Everything remains exactly as it was. I am I, and you are you. And the old life that we lived so fondly together is untouched, unchanged. Whatever we were to each other, that we are still. Call me by the old familiar name. Speak of me in the ease with which you always used to. Put no difference in your tone. Wear no forced air of solemnity or sorrow. Laugh as we always laughed at the little jokes we enjoyed together. Play, smile, think of me, pray for me. Let my name be ever the household word that it always was. Let it be spoken without effort without the ghost of shadow upon it. Life means all that it ever meant. It is the same as it ever was. There is absolute and unbroken continuity. What is this death but a negligible accident? Why should I be out of mind because I'm out of sight? I am but waiting for you for an interval somewhere very near, just around the corner. All is well, nothing is hurt, nothing is lost. One brief moment and all will be as it was before. How we shall laugh at the trouble of parting when we meet again. Thank you and we look forward to joining you next month for the February Angel's Rest Blessing. Take care now.